Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Crab Queen and today we're going to make a new page and I'm going to I want I want to use this at the front so and I want to make that other closure that from Ankita's craft corner so I am going to grab first a black piece of paper and I'm going to score this so I have a little brown edge all the way around that's the first thing that I am going to do and the next step is grab my little craft right next to me I'm going to make a fold line from half inch and then I'm going to make a fold line from one eighth, uh, one fourth and so we have enough space what we are going to do underneath this closure page okay so that's that and let's see how far do I need this for my owl um, I think I will like it till here I yeah I'm going to cut right above this white planet okay that is what I want to leave okay now before I'm going to cut this I'm going to measure this up and make a mark that is where I am going to cut this okay that's step one let's grab another piece and let's measure this exactly the same size making another two fold lines a half inch and a one four oops a one four there we go so we have a lot of place to use for the inside now let me first glue on the bottom piece. Hello. Ah, here we go. It's awake. <laughs> glue this on the bottom with a brown edge all the way around Let's see if it's straight yep it is let's burn this down here we go see that was pretty easy going just a little short and that is not exactly what I had in mind Ooh. okay actually I could have cut this above the owl mm, well I still can then I have a little more space to move my closure done you know what I'm going to do I'm going to cut it right above this then it's a little more not bad because I still can 
use this piece. It's no trouble at all. But now I am going to make that mark where it needed to be. Right there. No trouble at all. I can still cut this down. Just a little miscalculation. Yeah, this is better. We need that space. Okay. So, let's assume that we are going to put this on here. So, I am going to lay this flat. And having a nice brown edge, and then I'm going to cut this the same so it bumps into that other piece. Okay, all right, and then we're going to apply this to the top. With that brown little edge, of course, we want that. And we want this to be equal to that it is. There we go. That's that. Okay, let's see. Let's move it a little. Yep, when this is full in the inside, it not bump in each other. Cool. Okay, that's the base, and I'm going to move further when I am ready on the inside. So I will leave this for just a moment. And I will put this aside, and I put the rest also aside so it's the same size. And let's go inside. What shall we do on the inside? Well, let's give me just a second to think what I want in here all right okay let's see what we are going to do um, lots of course first I'm going to grab a piece of paper and I am going to cut this down at four and a half inch four and a half why this size? Because I want to use my edge die, my small edge die, and um, yeah, um, wait just a second. I want to make a pocket. Oh, don't throw this away. You're going to make a pocket first. Okay, I'm so sorry, but we are going to make a pocket. First, that's the base. Ooh. So, yeah, sometimes I'm just a little odd with making <laughs> a tutorial, but I'm just doing the best I can. And sometimes it's just a go with the flow. And now I'm going to measure, and now I'm going to make another fold line. And then cut this down. And then I hope for the best that this is four and a half inch. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Oh, yes, it is. Of course it is. All right. Now check if I am. Yep, it is. It's a nice pocket. Okay. Now, what I like to do is I'm going to start up here. Still keeping that brown edge here. Now, of course, we do not want our pocket too high. So I am going to cut this down so this is about one inch. Okay, so I'm going to cut this down. I'm not going to make a fancy, um, a fancy cut and down here. Does not need because we are going to use that die already so otherwise it's 
too much, I think. So I'm going to apply this right here. Ooh, so that is the base. Yeah, sometimes perhaps it is better to try something out first, but but hey. If I do that, that means that I have to make every single page twice. Well, I don't think that is necessary. So, I always give you the tip first to see. And yeah, most of my videos are follow along. <laughs> and that means that I can make mistakes. And I can. Everybody can make mistakes. Even can I. Okay, so that is the base. Now I want to do another one down here. So another piece is needed. And um, yeah, let's make a fold line. And then fold this. Measure it at four and a half to make another fold line. Yep, here it is. And cut this shorter. Sometimes I wish I uh, could make my videos perhaps a bit more. Yeah, professional, I don't know, but I don't like that, there's so much work going in and I just like this, I like doing what I do and I really do, shall I make this on the other direction, shall it make that fun, I don't know, I think it's fun. So I'm just going to do that. See? I'm just go with the flow. Just thinking something and just doing it. I'm just going to eyeball this as one inch shorter and I'm just going to cut that down. Isn't that fun? I know most of people hate that method. I I, I can imagine that you hate this. It's, it's not organized, it's not clear perhaps. Um, I don't measure a lot, just a bit, and when I do measure I say that, and there is no cutting list, and there is no um, material list, actually perhaps my tutorials are terrible. <laughs> I don't know, I hope not, I hope not. Oh, this actually is this toy tool. It's pretty cool. Straight. Straight as it can be. Okay. So yeah, that is just what I want to say. I am having fun doing this. I'm just I can do this all by myself if I want. And not film at all. And then just show you the end results. But yeah. You people ask me, do tutorials, do tutorials. Well, then let me do the tutorials as I please them to. Okay, so here yeah, we have a left pocket and a right pocket. And let's go to the next step. Ah, so cool. <laughs> okay, let's see. Next step is grabbing a four and a half piece of paper. And I cut it with my little edge die. And now I'm just going to measure where I want my flippity flop. And that is of course, remember, keeping away that little brown edge. And then grab your scoreboard and making a flippity flop. Keep it straight, Diane. Keep it straight, straight, straight. All right. Well, I can cut this down just a little. 
why I like about my old. We are memory people. Scoring board. Yeah, some hate it. I still love it. It still has a lot of good potentials. I'm going to flip this around just a bit because it keeps in the way. So we are going to glue this down. Make some glue on that hinge. On that floppy flop. Now I will stay away from my little edge. And then move it along so it fits nicely on my pocket. That's how I like it. Okay. That was step one. Now I can add, uh, let me open this up. Now I can add my design paper right here at this point. Let's put this on. Give it a little black edge. There you go. Okay. So, okay, so yeah, I need to make another one. So I already have a four and a half inch. Let's see. Yeah, I do have that. Now I am going to cut another piece. So what I'm going to do is I am going to cut this a little shorter. And here we go. And now I'm just going to tape this on each other so it won't slip away. And then I'm just grabbing my die. And I'm just going to eyeball this in the middle. And I think that's right here. And then I'm going to roll that to the machine. What do you think? Yeah. Okay. So I am going to put that to the machine. loose. I don't use this. Now cut this loose too. It's just a little angle. Oh, I just, I missed a spot. That's not normal. Oh yeah, that's just, oh, yep, here it is. Here it goes. I missed just a little spot. I needed, I needed to go perhaps one more time. Okay, so there you are just a little glue edge, and I don't want that, so I'm going to skip this away. Let's cut this off. Now I do not like these straight edges, so I am going to cut this down. A nice corner. Let's etch this. Not etch this. Let's smooch this. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> and yeah, I can glue this down already. Now I'm going to add this. And now I can easily cut down. this little corner too. 
so it's nice and even. See, that went pretty easy. All right, so now we only have to measure the piece. Oh yeah, this piece. Okay, so line it up where you want it. Grab your pencil, make that mark, and not cut it down. I want to say it. I want to say cut it down. But no, we are not going to cut this down. We're going to score this, of course. Diane, what was you thinking? Okay, cut it shorter. Here we are. Was that easy or what? See, it's not that difficult. You just need to go step by step by step. It is not difficult. You can follow me along. Yes, you can. Let's move this on the right spot. Yep, and when it is, burnish it down. Okay, see how easy that is. Cool, isn't it? But yeah, that's not enough. But we have a nice pocket in here and a nice pocket down here. Cool. But we are not getting there. Yeah, we are getting there, but it's not finishing. It's not finished. <laughs> okay, next step. Okay, we needed two more, and I was thinking, well, perhaps I am going to use these. Um, so, one I have lost, but well, you never know, perhaps I'm going to make a pocket. Oh, you never know with me. <laughs> okay, what we are going to do is, oh, well, I think the blue, which one shall we apply? This is actually pretty blue, bluish. Well, I'm going to mix it. Okay, <laughs> what we are going to do is um, <clears throat> this needs to go on here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to line this up where the end is of this page, and then I make a mark where I want a flippity flop. Let's grab the little one. Let's grab my baby. My little baby. Let's make a full line. Cut this shorter. And fold it up. Okay. Then this goes right here. See? Okay, that's cool. Let's glue that on. Okay, so right against that other page, line it up so your pages are nicely equal, the same. And that's that, another page. I like this a lot. Okay, now of course, do the exactly same thing. Line this up on the end of your page. Make that mark. Make a flippity flop. Cut it shorter. Pull it down. And glue it on. How easy is that? See, I am going to do step by step with you. I am with you. So line this up here. I'm just going to flip it so I can see much better. Yep, it is perfectly. And then just move your okay and 
now perhaps you are thinking why do you make two exactly the same ones well because it can why not do some fun i like this this is cool okay now next step is okay next fun part is well let me first oh yeah this is the top the next fun part is we can still do something with this so why not i'm just going to peep if this is the correct surface it should be i always checking um, if i do have something in my yeah you're going to be wondering why is she doing this all the time well i collect um, my leftover pieces and i try to always find a leftover pieces which i can work with before i am cutting down uh, a new a4 size and so when i am finished um mostly <laughs> i gave i give uh, such as this with all these little uh, strips i give usually to my mom because my mom used these to make um, edge, uh, edge dies so she can use um, well this is a, a, a die from the cutting machine but you also have edge punches and my mom has a lot and sometimes she do come over uh, to use mine so she makes a lot of uh, this pieces so she ha she can grab them whatever she wanted to so that's really easy so that is why I always keep these and my mom uses them and me too of course okay no problem let's see I hope these are the perfect size oh god bless you yes they are oh my it is the right size well and if you don't have something left over then just measure yours and make it yours okay so what I'm going to do well let's grab a scoreboard and i'm just going to make some flippity flops and i need four of them yes i do oh here is a little one we don't need it was hidden in between the rest of the pile okay so now i have four now let's see uh, i am going to turn my page that's way easier oh my little basket is going away all right so let's see well this is the top so i want one up and one down so i am going to move this on the place where i want it to be all the way to that end of this page and then i'm going to cut it and glue it on it is that simple it is i'm just going to apply it on top all the way down see all the way to this end and that's it okay now grab another piece fold it finish it now open this up and now the next one i want that you are going to place it against the end of this page and then stay away at least two to three millimeters away and cut it down and then glue it on so we have made another extra pocket um extra flippity flop right here on the end of this piece and open it burnish it down so we have one okay now let's do that again let's make one flippity flop hold it to the top of your page make a mark 
and cut it down. And then we glue it on. How easy can it get? It's simple. But yeah, of course, you need to step. You need to know the steps. But I am with you. So we do this together. Now flip this open. Grab another piece. And make it to the bottom. Stay away two to three millimeters away from that fold line. Cut it and glue it on. Here we are. Nice and straight. Okay, that's that. So, I'm going to turn this because this is still the front page. So when you open this up, you have open open okay, close it down and then you have first the left one the left one and it opens and then all the way pocket okay same here open open and first we have the right one and then the left one and a pocket isn't that simple? Now, let's see how far are we. I think we can add a nice pocket on top here. Why not? Let's go crazy. And let's grab a leftover piece. Why not? I do not want the pocket too high. So let's grab leftovers. But if you want to know the height, it's two. Two inches. So I'm first going to make two flippity flops on each piece. Pulling it down. Down it. Okay, now I can measure. I'm going to flip it down because I'm going to turn it. That's very easier for me. Alright, so now you line it up on one side, make a mark, and I'm going to do exactly the same thing on here, make a mark, and then we just need to make another flippity flop. How easy can it get? Is that easy or what? I'm so sorry, I keep saying that, but I can imagine for some people of you, is this all shiny Chinese or not? Why I keep saying that, I don't want to be rude and say that Chinese is difficult, but sometimes I do say that um, because ch uh, Chinese language I can't read. Um, I just can't, uh, and I can't, I, I can't, um, I don't know the language, so yeah, it's a little joke for me and it's a little joke from Holland, I guess, uh, sometimes if I can't understand something or I can't figure something out or it's just too difficult for me, then I, I don't know if more Dutch people say that, but then I say uh, it's it's more it's it's I can't I can't do it because it's Chinese for me so I don't want to rude I don't want to be rude to any of you sh Chinese people who are watching this perhaps so I apologize <laughs> so don't judge me for that don't say that I'm rude to you people I am not it's just a matter of speaking now I forgot to make that pocket close, but we still can do that, so no worries. There we go. Pocket closed. Okay, so. Sometimes you have just an expression. Um, so yeah, that is 
No offense to any people of the world. Sometimes we, we just do that. I'm not trying to curse or <laughs> be rude to ever for, for anybody of the world. No, I love you all. <laughs> Gosh, what am I saying? Why am I saying this? Well, sometimes you do get uh, an email or um, a personal message that, that, yeah, sometimes I do say something that I shouldn't have. But yeah, I'm just a human being. And sometimes we do say uh, things that we don't mean or don't want to be, um, well, you get the picture. <laughs> I'm digging myself in, in too much difficult words. Word. Okay, I think we managed the top. What do you think? So we have nice pockets, pockets for nice little tag. And then this flips up and down. And this goes to the right. And this goes to the left. So yeah, it's I like it. This is cool. And you can imagine how this looks like if we are done with our design paper. Cool. I love, 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 love it. Yeah, so I am going to put some design paper on. Perhaps I'm going to do one and then do one together, but I can't promise you that because, yeah, I think this video is already taking a bit long, but I'm going to, I do my best. I am going to do my stinky best. Okay, yeah, I like it. Ta-da! Oh, this is cool. All right, I will see you back in one second. I'm just going to do this a little bit with you together. So what I feel is important and you, you can hate it or you can like it. I don't know. But what I like the most is give the papers a little more um, contrast. Such as little strips can do so much for your papers. And I know this is a printable, I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, that's a good way of getting good printable. So you can add it to every kind of occasion. So um, so this is the pocket. So. <laughs> and I do like something on the back here that pops out. So... What shall we use for that? So I'm going to do first the contrast things and then add it more on it. So what I like, sample for this, I don't like this a complete page that's boring. So I'm going to measure this piece, how wide it is. And that's one and a half. So I'm going to flip this open. And let's see, yep, that is, that's one and a half, that's one and a half, and till there I want a nice piece of paper, okay? So, which piece of paper will fit nicely underneath here, so this will not drown in the background papers? Now, let me search a bit. Um, You can use this dark blue. This dark blue you can use for the back. Let's see. But does that pop it up? Hmm. I don't think so. You can use a nice white color cardstock for the back so it pops up. You see the difference? That is what I like. Now I also have some of these printables in that bluish or purple. It's also nice for the background. Oh yeah. I think I like that purple. 
do have another purple that's more vintage or I have some of this blue that's also a nice color but I think I will go for that dark purple what do you think now this one yeah I'm going to use this one for the back one so it pops up a little more oops oops throw everything down clean up clean it now what I also can do is um, I also can use this that's also nice that pops up also perfectly I do like stripes you know that I'm addicted to stripes and I just love that and but I just wanted to show you the different way you're going to use. This is also nice. Mm, I really like the light. That light color. Oh my gosh, now I have too much options. Oh. And I only need one and a half strip. This is also nice. Is there any other paper? This is also nice because it's also light. Perhaps I'm going to use just <laughs> design paper because I think at the end I do have a lot of design paper left and that's actually not the meaning of it. So yeah, we do have another pack. So I'm going to cut yeah because this way I can't have to. So that is what I'm going to do. Yay! I'm figuring it out. I'm going to cut this at one and a half. And I need this down here and I need it on this side. So I'm going to cut two pieces. That is one and a half. And now I am going to apply this underneath this piece right here. Okay, let's smooch away. And glue it down. I opened just my window because it needed a little air up, up upstairs today. It's hot, it's hot today here. Yeah, just two more days and then I think it's the last it's the last one but let's see let's do the other way so you can see how it turns out we have that other piece yeah this is a nice light one too this is good so you don't have to use printers no you can but you don't need to you just can use your design paper some way i'm just carried away and then at the end I have so much mixing papers up that I do have a lot spared with design paper. And that is actually not what, yeah, this is nice, isn't it? This is still popping up pretty good. Now I'm going to attach that other piece on here and then I'll be back to you. Okay, so that is done. Now go to the pocket. So I only used a little strip on here. And I think it needs light. So what do you say about this piece? This is light and that purple comes back in that strip. So why not use it? Okay, so let's cut this down. Yep, I like it. Here we are. Let's glue this pocket down. With those nice sunshine. 
I'll do exactly the same on the bottom because it can. Because I like it. I like that sometimes it is something the same. And it's not because it's easy, but I just like that. It feels like a twin. Oh, that is a good idea. Use this for a twin. No, that's just ridiculous. It, it, it can. It's possible, but that was just a little thought. But it would be nice. <laughs> now for the background. For the background, we do need some contrast here. So, I'm turning my back. I think I do like... This is not usable. I think I'm going to use this piece because I just have a, quite a few. So what I want to do is measure this up. And I'm going to measure this a little lower. And then cut it down, of course. Measure this up where it's belonging and that's a little smaller than the pocket itself and here we go and then we just can glue it in is that easy or what here we are Slide this in your pocket and put it on the right spot. And that's it. Doing exactly the same thing on here. That is nice, isn't it? So you can see that this strip just really pops up real nice. So yeah, let's continue uh, it all and let's decorate the rest. And yeah, can I do this together with you? Yeah, I can, but sometimes it's better doing it alone. Okay, well, I first I'm going to add that bluish if it's possible I do have I want to let this piece come back once in a while and uh, because I just love it I love that color and I like to keep that coming back so I'm just going to cut this down I hope again oh yeah I think I had it better cutting the other, other way but hey let's cut another one anyway I'm just going to put this in here that's the background of a pocket so you don't see this quite much but it's just how I like it yeah Okay, now we need another one. And that is on this piece right here. Oops. Okay, that's that. So much going on. It is. Let's move it along. Oh, it's not difficult. Oh, it isn't. <laughs> a bit. A bit. It's 
So move it all the way around. Let's see, put this on the white spot. Here it is. Yep. Okay, that's that. Now I think I want to let this come back. What did it say? Oh yeah, I do like that. And I do... Yeah, I'm just going to continue in and... Where is the strips? Stripes? Where are the stripes? Here it is. Okay. Alright, so I'm just going to cut just a small piece because it's a small um, piece I don't want it too wide so I'm just going to add some little strip at the end of this yep and of course we're continuing doing this right here too yeah what do you say shall we make a a nice photo mat on here or no I think I am just going to continue with some design paper and then I'll like I come back to you I think it's easier to think some things through off camera I think it is Because it's not always that that easy, not that easy going. So, yeah. Okay, I, I'll be back in one second. This is ridiculous that I'm thinking out loud, out out loud <laughs> in front of you. That's awkward. Okay, so let's see how um, it turns out. So first of all, this is inside. I finished it all up um, with all my papers and photo mats in here there is a, um, a photo mat with just a ribbon so it's easier to pull out um, yeah and here the same thing just leaving making some leftover piece and um, this goes to the right and this goes to the left also with a photo tag in here um, so that's the inside and I already put some design paper on top here and a nice big photo frame on the bottom and I put some my owl on it like I said and now we come to the part where I am going to try out that closure from um, yeah how call it I can't remember on Kita's craft corner and so the meaning is that this is going to be on top here but I want a closure and well let's just try it out so in her video she is doing this after she is decorated this but I think it's more prettier to do this before so I'm just I'm just trying it out I'm just I, I saw her video and now I'm just going to try it out so the meaning is that you find a nice piece that fits that fits on this piece of paper that is the meaning that's that's what the whole point is so and I don't want this exactly in the middle it could be but then it's ruined my face and I don't want that so I'm trying to be as close as it can at the sides so I'm starting with this piece right here and then making let's fold this 
needs to be on the top and then making a full line right here and we can do that without scoring yeah so this needs to go here and then we just glue this down so actually we are going to make just a little belly band okay that is that i think now it's the time to push this on its place let's use a glue that's not too fast drying So it's my first time that I try this out, that I'm going to do this, so just perhaps you absolutely don't like it or perhaps I do it totally wrong, that's also a possibility of course. I am only human and I always like to try things out. Let's see if this is straight with hip this. Okay, now that is that. Now we are going to shovel this under and um, wait just a second, perhaps it's better to move this all the way so that glue is definitely not going to be stuck. And then let's go back. So I am just going to unfold this, not unfold this, I'm just going to cut this a bit shorter. So this is what I'm going to apply. So I'm going to put some glue on here. So that is what's going over each other. Yep, that is correct. go okay so this is movable now I think you already know what the picture will be so this is movable let's give it a close look this piece moves upside down yeah now what we want is we move this to the lowest part and perhaps I am going to add some design paper before I go to that. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Which one do we want? Well, just a leftover piece. No big deal. Um, yeah, let's use this one. It's just a leftover piece because we don't want this to be boring. That's no, that's a big no no. Okay, let's smooch this first. Alright, well, I'm just going to shovel this underneath. Yep, okay, this glue dries so darn fast. Perhaps this glue is better. Wait just a second. And of course I needed this to do before I added that little piece. And I forgot to measure this piece. Oh yeah, how many things can go on? But, yep. Long live the scissors. Okay, so now this is added. Now you see that piece even better. Okay, yep, it's still nice, movable. So, where is my little piece? Now, what I want is that we don't want this to go. Um, I 
think, yeah, we want this to act on the lower side and then when we move it up, it stays here. So, I am going to apply some glue on here. And then, again, not to be seeing, but on the white spot, I'm going to add this. Okay, and then it's movable to up and down. So yeah, that, that's actually it. Okay, now I do have a nice piece that goes on top here. It's always better to do this later, so you don't have to, so there is nothing to, to uh, be afraid that you are glue this not on the white spot or not straight. So yeah, that's a better to do that after this is on here. So, okay. So when you open this up, it looks like this. And then when you close this down, then this is the closure. Well, it, it will stay there, of course, when it's in the album. What do you think? Yeah, I like it. Pretty easy, perhaps not um, that uh, big, how you call that? I think I really like it, but if, it's, if, if this is a sturdy closure, I don't think so, but yeah, I do like it. Yeah, it's cool. It's a nice, uh, it's a nice thing for a closure. Okay, I like that. Well, in my experience, if I will, I, I, if I can do it all over again, then I think I will add still a magnet on here. Yeah, I think it's a little sturdier, but we'll see when it's on in uh, the album, and yeah, we'll see if it still works. Because yeah, now it's flimsy when I'm lifting this up, but. Yeah, I think it, it does the trick. Alright, so anyway, so now I used three of her closures and yeah, actually I really like this. Perhaps we can do this uh, technique also with some photo mats or something like that. That's cool. When you lift something up, there will be a, a exposed another piece of um, photo. Okay, well, this page is done. I hope you like it and um, up to the next one. Cool. <laughs>